Okay, one major rule that we haven't checked yet, and that's that the virtual cargo fits. So we're going to bring that into the assembly. And it's obviously facing the wrong way, but we're going to constrain it. But we're only going to do one constraint for this. Only thing we can constrain, we can open up the ones we need here, is the plane down the middle with the plane down the middle of the car, which is called the ref plane. Now, this is one where we do want it facing the other way. That's better. An offset of zero. Okay, so we see our bird cargo here. And drag it to move it. It may not be extremely clear from this view. But it is locked in line with the car. Down that centre plane. Height, so might not drag it back this way. It should fit in there pretty nicely. We can't see it, which means it's on the inside of the car. So we might do one more break, and that's to lock this bottom surface, the bottom surface the offset of both facing the same way, offset of zero. That's more like it. To enter to enter the virtual cargo and edit it, we translucent, and we can see that it does fit inside the car, which is exactly what we want to discuss for the rules. Remember that it doesn't actually ever get made, but it's important in your drawing to show that it does. Okay, some final tidying up. Something you might like to do is to switch to tools and then change the appearance of some objects. So I'll just close all of these so I can see them. For instance, your cadet body, change the appearance. Let it do something that looks a little bit nicer, just for the purposes of the drawing. Some unfinished copper. We'll click on the button, add the model. And now when we close that, it stays. Now the wheels, hopefully we can do all of them in one go. Appearance. This one here called glossy plastic. Which look exactly like the wheels do in real life. Glossy back. Add it to the model. And look much better. Now the virtual cargo. You won't really see it, so it's not worried too much, but maybe something like glossy gold. Just so we're doing a cutaway view or something like that. It's nice and clear. Okay, looking pretty good here. A couple more things to tidy up. We do have a bit of a hard edge along there. So we can edit the body end. Anything that we want to be on both sides, we have to remember to drag end of part above mirror. But anything that happens after the mirror, for instance, putting a fillet down the middle here, then we need to have the end of part after. So I might like to go for quite a big radius here, see if it'll fit. If the radius is not big, like this disappears, it means the radius is too big. You can try a smaller one. Still no good. Quite a lot of computing power here, as you can see, trying to calculate the solution. Still not good, we'll put it back to the original three, which should work. Yep. Yeah, okay, a little bit smooth there. If we wanted to add something that was going to move by the side, once again, we need to drag end of part above the mirror, make the change, and then drag it back, and everything should update. From here, you could add the model and add a canister. Like the car, although that's not necessary to show in the drawings, but it's up to you. Now, just to remember that we modeled this entire car, we should be able to come back, edit cadet body, and make that very first body sketch. 
and move the positions of the wheels and everything like from there. For instance, maybe I want to make the car lighter by having a shorter side pod. I can now see where the cargo is. So I might drag this one back so it will still fit. Finish the sketch. Give it a couple of seconds to compute. Okay, let's move that back. Only thing we've lost is our dialing up with the axle so Once we return out of the part, I assume that will update as well. Front wing should also move back to suit. There we go. So everything is updated as we want it. And that's a really, really nice feature about Autodesk Inventor for creating these cars. Everything is dynamic. Sometimes you will get errors after you update things and then make a fundamental change, but generally you can resolve them and get the car working again. I'm gonna actually like my little Turn back to get the original car. Don't forget to work. Next step is to create a drawing of this. 